wish you a personal happy birthday. Well, you're mighty sweet. I got your wire, and I thought it was very thoughtful. I got a little bad throat, but uh, uh, I, I did a lot of talking yesterday and a little change in altitude. So I just been out in the car, riding around, looking at the sun, oh, enjoying myself. Uh, yeah, I, I, here today. Oh, I, I know that. I know that. And we're very, oh, very yes, thrilled sir. that uh, very thrilled that she could be there. I just wanted you to know we've been thinking of you today and we had a lovely wedding here and your sweet Lucy came and made it just just that much better and she was simply marvelous with us. Well, we we think you got a mighty fine boy and girl and we're very happy uh, uh, at their attitude and Bird won't say a word to you. We're just getting ready to sit down and uh, visit with two or three of the local folks. Hubert? Hello for me. Hubert? Oh, I knew it was a happy day and a beautiful affair, and I wish I could have been there, but uh, the, August the 27th is always a very special day in our lives, and I just couldn't, and I'm so sorry. Oh, we know that. <laughs> Lady Bird, how was your trip yesterday? It was fantastically good. Oh, good. I, I just felt real happy about it. And what, what about you, Big Day? How did everything go? Oh, just great. We're exhausted. Well, uh, it's, it, what is it up there, about 9.30? Uh -huh. Well, it's time you put your feet up, and we send our dearest love to the young couple, and we hope they'll have years of happiness and uh, uh, we, prosperity we, we, and good health and all good things. You know, Lucy was with us. I do know, and I'm so pleased. Oh, she was so dear. Gosh, it just was wonderful to have her here. <laughs> you never forget that. You tell her I'm a little bit jealous when... When she go to the vice president on my birthday. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I said, listen, you better be they figured up a good story on that one. <laughs> now, Mr. President, we're not going to keep you any longer. I just want you to know that we were thinking of you. Well, you, you, you're mighty sweet. I told her when she told me she had to fly down here to her birthday uh, before she left Washington, I said, that's not a prudent act. Uh, the first week you're married, when you're trying to get through school to spend that much money coming to Texas for a man's birthday, and uh, I guess you did figure it's prudent to go be with the vice president. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Didn't talk so much. That's fine. Uh, uh, I won't bid you goodbye and lots of love. Oh, Hubert? Birthday, Mr. Hubert? Yes. Uh, we had uh, a real unbelievable day yesterday. I don't know. We 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 gonna have real problems with this press because of our friends have got about uh, uh, everybody in the world pretty well poisoned. But uh, uh, we open their eyes at every meeting, and I rather think that uh, well, one of the boys' news we just told Bill Moyers. That they wouldn't use his copy this week. He sent them 50 pages. They said they had to write a big story about Kennedy and Johnson. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, he's doing that pretty well in New York. I don't know I don't know how we can overcome it. But uh, we we had the group with us on our trip. And we have had, and I just think we got to keep it up. Well, Mr. President, you've been they they tell me you did a terrific job on that New England trip, and I know today was another. Or this weekend was a smash. I'll just try to behave, and I'm sorry that things aren't a little better. Well, they'll be all right. Don't worry about that. Well, I'm not going to, Mr. President. I just want to be. You tell me what, what you want me to do. Well, you're doing it. God bless you. God, thank you, Mr. President. Bye.